Good morning students. In this video, I am going to explain the problem related to the normal distribution. Okay. Everyone note down this question. The question is, if the masses of 300 students are normally distributed with the mean 68 kgs and standard deviation 3 kgs, how many students have masses greater than 72 kgs, less than or equal to 64 kgs? Third one is between 65 and 71 kgs inclusive. Okay. So first of all note down this. Then I will explain the solution. How we have to solve this problem by using normal distribution. Okay. First I am going to solve this first one. What is the first one? Greater than 72 kgs. To solve this problem first of all you have to uh, collect the information whatever is given in the question okay right what is given given that given that the mean mu is equals to 68 kgs and the standard deviation sigma is equals to 3 kgs and uh, n is 300 number of students is 300 now on which variable you are concentrating you are concentrating on the masses of the students so you have to consider the random variable capital X which indicates the masses okay let X be the random variable X be the random variable which indicates which indicates masses of the students masses of the students okay so after this one all the normal distribution problems can be solved by using this standard normal variate okay so first of all you have to convert the given problem into the standard normal variate so what is standard normal variate z is equals to x minus mu divided by sigma is the standard normal variate okay now i am going to write that one let z is equals to x minus mu divided by sigma be the standard normal variate okay then I am going to solve. So we have to find the probability of x is the random variable greater than 72 kgs. Okay. Right. So this I am going to convert into the standard normal variate. Probability of x minus mu divided by sigma is greater than 72 minus uh, mu by sigma is equals to probability of z greater than 72 minus what is mu 68 divided by sigma 3 okay so that is equals to p of z greater than 4 by 3 so if you calculate that 4 by 3 value what you will get it is 1.33 you will get now you have to search for the value of z value of uh, 1.33 in the table okay so before that one you have to draw the figure how will the figure will be so see this is a normal distribution curve okay so this is x is equals to mu the corresponding z value is 0 yeah consider this is a x is equals to 72 x is 72 okay so the corresponding z value what you are getting 1.33 so z is greater than 1.33 means you will get the right side of this one that is this area you have to calculate okay so carefully observe here the shaded region you have to calculate but the table values are given for the region from z is equal to 0 to z is equals to 1.33 is given in the from the table value okay is given in the table value so what you have to do 
you have to take the total area that is 0 0.5 okay minus this area if you remove you will get this area okay so how we can write this one that is 0 0.5 minus area at z is equals to 1.33 you have to check okay now everyone see the table and tell me this value 0 0.5 minus what is the table value 1.33 so table value you have to see 1.3 z value 1.3 you have to see the left side of the table so on the top of the table you have to check where is 0.03 is there under that you have to check at 1.3 under 0.03 you have to check tell me that value what you will get you will get 0 0.4082 check it whether it is correct or not you have to decide okay now, if we simplify this one, what is the value you will get? If you simplify, 0 0.0918 you will get. So, this is the uh, probability of x greater than 72. Okay. So, this is the probability value you got. But what we need? We need the number of students have masses greater than 72. Okay. Number of students we need. So, if you multiply the number of students 300 to this one, you will get the uh, total number of students greater than 72 kgs answer you will get. Okay. So, here for this one answer is equals to, I am writing here, that is 0 0.01918 into 300. If you do this calculation, you will get 28. Okay. So, to solve these problems, compulsory we need calculator and the table. These are compulsory to solve the normal distribution problems. Okay. I hope it is clear to you. Now, I am going to solve the second one. Okay. So, if you understand this single problem, you can solve any problem in the normal distribution. Okay. The single problem is covering the all the type of problems. Second one is less than or equal to 64 kgs okay so this is the question so already we consider the random variable we can we need not the standard normal variate everything we know so directly i am solving this one probability of x less than or equal to 64 kgs so this I am converting into the standard normal weight x minus mu divided by sigma is less than or equals to 64 minus mu divided by sigma. So this is equals to p of z less than or equals to 64 minus 68 divided by 3. So this is equals to p of z is less than or equals to minus 4 by 3 you will get. So, it is as it is you are getting with a minus symbol. Previous problem we did this. So, this is equals to P of Z is less than equals to minus 1.33. Okay. Now, you have to draw the figure. Draw the figure. For every problem, you have to draw compulsory the figure. With the figure only, we can get the, some ideas to solve the problem. At X is equal to 0, mu. This is Z is equals to 0. So, 1.33 minus 1.33 means left side of z is equal to 0 you have to take. So, I am considering this is z value 1.33 minus with a minus negative sign. So, this less than means this side you will get. Same as it is what we did in the previous problem. It is also. But in that previous problem we taken the region this side. Okay. So, what you will get the area. This is the area you have to calculate. In the table values, this area is not given directly. The given area values are from z is equal to 0 to some z is equal to another value is given. So, with that table, we have to calculate that like this. First of all, you have to take this total area that is 0 0.5. From that 0 0.5 area, you have to remove this plain area. Okay. So, that is area z is equal to minus 1.33 okay so here if we, even though if minus is there you have to check only for 1.33 only 
okay so we don't consider the negative value 1.5 minus for the 1.3 under 0 0.03 you have to check okay so same value 0 0.4082 you will get 4082 you will get okay so it is also same 0 0.0918 you will get okay so this is the probability of the uh, st students those who have the less than 64 kgs less than equals to 64 kgs this is the probability only so but he's asking the masses of number of students number of students therefore number of students having masses less than or equal to less than or equals to 64 kgs is equal to 0 0.0918 into 300 same value 28 you will get so this is the answer okay so with this second problem is also completed third one is between 65 and 71 kgs inclusive that is probability of 65 is less than or equals to inclusive means equal to your to put x is less than equals to 71 this i am going to convert into the standard normal variate x minus mu divided by sigma is less than equals to z is less than equals to 71 minus mu divided by sigma okay so that is equals to p of 65 minus 68 divided by 3 is less than equals to z is less than equals to 71 minus 68 divided by 3 okay simplify this one what you will get 65 minus 68 65 minus 68 is minus 3 divided by 3 so minus 1 is less than equals to z is less than equals to 71 minus 68 what you will get here you will get plus 3 so 1 you will get is it clear now construct the figure this is the figure this is the normal curve x is equals to 0 x is uh, z is equal, sorry x is equals to mu z is equals to 0 so this is z is equals to 1 i am considering this is z is equals to minus 1 i am considering okay so this area you have to calculate the shaded region you have to calculate okay so how can we can uh, find by using the table that is nothing but area from z is equals to minus 1 plus this area plus this area area for z is equals to plus 1 okay for the areas we don't consider the minus values so a of z is equals to minus 1 a of z is equals to plus 1 both are same so that i can write two times of area z is equals to 1 okay that is equals to two times of see the z is equals to 1 value from the table see the table value you will get 0 0.3413 okay so what is the probability you are getting two times so multiply that one you will get 0 0.6826 okay so this is the probability of the students those who have the masses between 65 and 71 kgs only this is a probability therefore number of students between 65 and 71 kgs inclusive is equals to 300 into 0 0.6826 do this calculation and write the answer here so what is the answer you will get 205 you will get okay
it is approximate values whatever telling that is approximately you will get so this is the way of solving the third problem so with this i am closing this video thank you